Hi guys, I'm Daddy Freeze, convener of the Free the Sheeple Movement and leader of the Free Nation in Christ. I greet you and I bring glad tidings. Breaking news, according to reports, Kiss Daniels has allegedly um, been arrested in Tanzania. We saw, we saw of him climbing into a police hillox. All right, and I think this is something we all need to talk about. If you're watching me live on Facebook, remember to buy stars. I'm not going to beg you, buy stars. Buy stars. You guys have not been buying stars on Facebook and I've been giving you quality content. It's not nice, buy stars. All right, that was not a Hilux. Okay, what was it? Can somebody help me? It looks like a Hilux. Uh, it looks like a Hilux. I'm watching the video now. He's Daniels, you're going for it. Look at it. He's a Hilux. Okay. You caused the damage to this country. I don't understand how him not attending a show is causing damage to the country. Oh, okay. Because his people ended up scattering the venue. Okay, it was a Land Rover pickup. Okay, pickup truck. And sorry, I'm used to saying he locks because now he locks our police. They use. Make no vex. Make no vex. Eh? Um, I'll give you the audio again. Uh, the audio is really short. You can hear a man complaining in the background. Listen to this. You can see him being led away. Okay, Daniels, you're going for it. You've caused damage to this country. You must go in for it. Please send me stars if you're watching live uh, on Facebook. Um, can you hear me? A lot of people on Instagram say they can't hear me. And we have about 800 people tuned in on Instagram. About 1,400 people tuned in on Facebook. And they are not buying stars. TikTok people, share the video so we can have more people watching if you guys you can you hear me okay a lot of people are saying they can hear me all right let's discuss this what is going on this is not the first time uh, such a report is being made about kids daniels um good morning daddy so please Yeah. Oh, hear you. I can hear you, Daddy Freeze. Okay, go ahead. What's your take on the matter? Well, um, my take on the matter is that um, I have experienced um, one of um, his Daniel's mess up here in um, you Africa. You personally, in I have experienced told you it what? You personally, or somebody told you? I have experienced it. A friend of mine in Los Angeles. A friend of mine in Los Angeles, um, he organize, organizes shows. I wish um, he's online. You can talk to him too, but I don't think he's online right now. His name is um, um, DJ L L um, Lentini. DJ Lentini. That was in 2000 and um, I think 2016. We went for his, um, we went for his um, um, concerts hoping to be in the VIP section. We paid a, lot, a whole lot of money to be in the VIP section. At the end of the day, we waited for this guy for more than, we waited for Kizania for more than an hour, one hour, 30 minutes. Eventually, when Kizania came, he sang for only 15 minutes. And everybody was so mad, and they were requesting for their money back. He did the same thing recently in the East Coast. He's a lovely artist. He's a sweet guy. We like him, but he keeps messing up. According to what my friend said the last time um, he, he spoke about um, Kiss Daniel, Kiss Daniel would tell you, Kiss Daniel would tell you the type of car that you would use to come pick him at the airport. Even while you have paid him to come and perform, he would tell you, you don't, you don't just come anywhere to pick me up. Pick, you come with this kind of car. Is that meant to be happening? It's not. This guy was... was... If he wants it for his image, I understand. 
people request making requests my problem is why do you not keep to your side of the contract i think that is a big problem with the guy he's, he's it's been like that almost everywhere people 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 that live in america will tell you whenever they call this guy for concerts he is always messing up i have never seen him i mean a lot of people say it might not be his fault that it might be the fault of his a and c and whatever then change your people change them if they are not giving if they are not making people to see good about you change them that guy i mean it's, it's a pity i pity him he's just he's just trying to spoil his brand i mean look at that hit song that he made that everybody loves people love this guy but by the time you get to know this guy the, i mean it might not be his fault it might be logistics but change the people that is in charge of your logistics hmm. you understand what i mean it's i've experienced it and i wasn't surprised when i when i saw the video i wasn't surprised about just two weeks ago, somebody was saying, Chris Daniel is still going to pay for this. Because the guy, the guy brought Chris Daniel down to, I, I think it was somewhere in the East Coast, the same thing happened, and a lot of people were requesting for their money back. This guy was literally crying on live video. He was crying on live video that he, he, he doesn't know where, the, where, where, the, where the, this thing is from. You know, that he doesn't know where the problem is coming from. Wow, I mean, it's, it's just a pity for a big guy like that, for an artist like that to, you know, you know, it's, it's it should be a thing of the past. It shouldn't be happening in 2022. I mean, we could understand in 2016, 2017, his management might not be professional enough, but right now, being being a big artist like that, he should have been able to fix all those things. He should have fixed it right. I mean, it's just a pity. It's just a pity. Wow, that, that's my take. Um, that the phrase. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us live and sharing your opinion. I would love to hear from Daniel. I'm, if you're I'm still at the police station that the phrase. I will, call you, I will try and do this interview again. We are still at the station right now. Where when are I you finish, now? I'm in Tanzania. I'm still at the station right now. Oh, doing... you are the guy. Yeah, I would like to do an interview on this. We are still at the station. Let me see. see. This is my lawyer. This is the police station right now. Oh, wow. Wow, wow. Okay. Yeah, oh, we. Wow. When I finish, I will drop you a direct message. Okay, please let me have this. How long do you think it will take us? People are actually waiting in line. If you can give us five probably minutes, one hour. Probably one hour. He's been locked up there. I still. He's still at the station now. He's still here. Oh wow! Is there anything you can share with us now? Maybe for two minutes, then we we'll back and give us. Yeah, I will give you. Uh, I don't know how to give you this days. This show was premium. I don't know okay. how to explain it. Just try your best way because I'm wondering what going on he only said the airline did bring his back that is why he cannot perform because his gold chain is not there and he had a gold chain on his neck one he wanted everything i bought amonites came i brought in different clothes uh old, old house uh next door arena next door you understand wow. so he said just be, just because his bag was airline didn't bring in one of his bag he cannot perform without his gold on his neck Ah. That show, I spent nothing less than three hundred thousand dollars on that show because the show was a premium show. I will send you. I, I will send you the. I will send you the video of that show. You see, that show wasn't joke. The table for that show was set for five thousand dollars, and the highest table was set for ten thousand dollars. Wow! Yeah. So, you know, so because he didn't have his chain, that is why he didn't perform. Oh my, my company is new here. My company is new, and I, I have an event. I'm a Nigerian. Okay, okay. Please, what is your name, sir? My name is Stephen Uwa. Stephen Uwa. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay Stephen Uwa. Uh -huh. This is the show. Everything I have on the contract with Polo. Polo is the one who I booked Chris Daniel directly from. Polo cried all night trying to beg this guy, please go to this show. Polo cried. Calling from America, Polut cried. Polut cried. All right. Um, let me let you handle what is going on in the police station. If you have any updates, would like to know. You are our yeah. Nigerian. When I'm, yeah. I really did this to you, then I'm I'm registering my disappointment now. 
if Chris Daniels truly did this to you, bro, I, I paid this, I paid this guy sixty thousand dollars to perform on this show. I need that on my knees. Bro, you must you are damaging me. I'm in Nigeria. And these people, I'm trying to build my company here. You are gonna damage me. Everybody think I I fraud them because I have an event my event an event app I just built. I wanted to launch it with Chris Daniel. I just wow. built this app, event event app. I just moved into this market, bro. I beg this guy. Don't wow. save my career, save my life, man. Wow. I was with, I was on table with Kizaneti like five hours, begging him, wow. kneeling down for him, bro. The -E. I'm, I'm not. I'm not in any way. Why do you have to kneel down for them? If I I'm... just don't want this damage in the next day. The whole the whole venue, the whole venue was damaged. The whole drink. I have sponsor. Martel was there. Pepsi was there. The fridge from Pepsi was destroyed. Martel now is calling us for, for to come and do. Martel. Gave, gave us a lot for this sponsorship. Pepsi gave us crystal light, gave us money, you know? What? Oh, man. I, I wanted not to make it look is my... I told him, bro, you are my brother. Just imagine you are starting your company. is just like four months here in this country. You wanted to just blow up like you somebody that would make you be on the lamb lights. I have to pay everything. I didn't owe anything, bro. It's not about the money. It's not even about the money aspect of it. Just wow. because your bag, airline didn't come with your bag. Just because airline, I'm not the airline. I'm not. It's not my fault. You have a chain, one chain on your neck. I brought three designers at night. Harmonize. I took Harmonize to Tokyo around. That. I have an office in Tokyo as well. I took Harmonize to Tokyo around June. Sixty thousand. Yeah. So you know. I'm on ice cream at night. Bring to the designer. People that lock shop around two o'clock. They bring in clothes from everywhere. This guy cannot choose any one shirt that he wants to wear. You know? I was trying to save the situation. Yeah. Wow. wow. Now, wow. I was supposed to... I, I, we had the biggest show in this country. Let me send you... I don't know. After this, I will send you a video of the show set up. Please. It was the maddest. Nice for us to see this. Wow. Wow. I'm sure that guy is, that guy is heartless, man. Oh. I'm He's sure been doing this since 2016. I don't really know how to say this, but if what you are saying is true, because I also have for this for the sake of fairness, bro, bro, I have all the messages from Polo and Polo was crying at night, man. Let me I don't know. Add Polo in this video. Polo is my very good Polo is my very good friend. He will, he will tell you. He was he's still begging me that we should give him a chance to perform on Wednesday to make sure he pay for the damages. The lawyer is here. But that the damages has already been done. The everything people get injured yesterday at the, at the event. Wow. Wow. Man, it's so painful, man. Wow. I was just a foreigner. I was just a foreigner. Nigeria, but come to this Bro, I have I have company in Turkey. I'm based in Turkey. I am the CEO of Big Step and Big Dreams. Okay. Big Dreams is on that on this is in company in Turkey. I have office in Abuja. Oh, we now house Abuja. This is my company. Big Step is just a new company. Which the first thing I did was to build an event app where I could sell tickets for people who want to go to events. Wow. I built that. I built the app not just to make sure. Uh, the app is just there. I wanted to use an artist who is on board to actually promote it, be the first person to actually use on that app. All this ticket was sold on the app, my app, bro. Wow. At the, at the end of the day, your own personal brother will want to destroy your reputation in the country that you are trying to settle wow. down. Nigeria economy is not good. We're trying to actually disappear, go to other countries, not because we want to make do for. I'm not, I know I don't do for it, bro. Okay, so what do you think is the way forward? Now, he's uh, paying them. We are filing damages for him. We have to pay damages, we have to perform free for the country before he leaves. We have to pay damages of everything destroyed, no problem. Then perform free for the country, then leave. The commissioner who came to remove him from the police from the hotel, we the room was very close to my room. Even this morning, I saw him. I said, Keys, what you have done to this country? But they showed that they had, they had a minister of youth and sports. 
I'm a show that had the Minister of Food and Sport last night. Hmm. Wow. 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 Even the government was even telling me after this show, they want to host this from tomorrow to like three days because from here he's going to Rwanda. They want to host him. So look at how he messed up himself. Sure. Hmm. Hmm. Talent is not enough. Oh, talent and support. Bro, it's, it's not enough, man. It's, it's not enough, man. It's not enough. It's not enough. Government wanted to fly into three states here. Yeah. Arusha, Zanzibar, and lodge him for three days just because of that song, because they love him. They will take him around the tourist side. I told him, the brother said, no problem, we'll do it. But you could damage everything with just the pride, with those pride and for no reasons. <laughs> wow. Wow. wow! My dear brother, I I, um, I don't want to take sides. So I always say you don't need to take you don't need to take sides. Just find out from uh, just find out from Polo. I have all the contract. I have everything. I have all the payments. Yeah, please let's tag Polo. Polo needs to be here to defend his artist. It makes sense here from Polo. Okay, you can you can come in. Polo is just like Polo is one of the best person I've ever worked. He's so humble, right? Eh? Oh, Polo was He's so my, humble. My friend, I can call Polo at night. I can call Polo at night. It won't mean that Polo does not miss my call since we'll be doing this transaction. He's been very. He will call me, man. Steve, I love what you are doing. Don't worry. Keep super. I I tried everything. There was a flight delay. We have to call the, my partner that we are doing it together. I have to call a captain in Kenya to make sure if you don't fly Christiane right now. Is a big problem. They have to the flight that was supposed to be eleven. They have to fly by eight. I told him the person I'm partnering with is a very influential person in this town. Don't do this thing, please. This person is. You can. I told him right because I'm a new company. I couldn't do it alone. I have to partner with somebody. It's not easy to do something like that alone. It's not easy. Yeah, I have to partner with somebody. No. Ah. To our own Nigerian brother. I know? cried on that. I I said I said, please, you tell me Steve, do you want me to bro? You are looking good. You are wearing a, a very fine t shirt and it gold on your neck. All you just need is a jacket and a glass. You you are okay. Even Show if you're you know, a <laughs> My he brother, he was talking of his brand, his branding, that see, people will not see that he's not wearing the different. I say, bro, think about people's emotion. 3,000 3, capacity, bro. Think of people's emotion. 3,000 people are here. The minister is there. The biggest people in this country are there on this show because it's a premium show. Wow. wow. The biggest table on that show was $10,000. $5,000 table was more than 10. Talking of $2,500 table was on. You know, how can I refund those people? Wow. 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 And those people, we already give them drink, complimentary drink on their, their table. Mattel was there to give us all the drinks that we want. And after the show, we deposited most of like 50%. After the show, we paid the other 50%. And those drinks and everything was destroyed. Money being stolen from the show. Wow. They are come without him. Like two people. This is my fine boy now. Take off. If not sick, let's see. What is the push that for stage, Abby? Yeah. This guy just have his own. His, his village people now they do a brother and a village people. Are Ross, no Ross, any reason. Papio, I'm so sorry to hear all this, okay? I pray he's going to learn from you. He has done this to a lot of promoters that I know. Bro, he first he came, he said, the suit I gave him is not good. About, I, ha about I have to change the room people. immediately. I changed the rooms. He said the rooms is too small. The parlor is too small. I have to give him a presidential suit. Cost almost $400 per night. Wow. Wow. I can't even, I don't even know what I'm facing right now. What I'm facing right now. I'm so sorry, brother. I'm so how sorry. Will, how will a country that I'm new trust me again if I, this can happen for the first event? I feel like I we've been. 
I you said, me, I think my reputation is at stake now. Oh, I'm in Nigeria, you know. Nigerian name is already in a stereotype. What we are trying to do is try, try to build something differently. I have very good respect in this country because I have never I have been coming here since 2018. From Turkey here and that, going back there, you know, nobody have ever do anything to me. But why are you coming here after paying you big money? You are going to destroy my reputation. Hmm. Wow. Wow. Okay, wow. Wow. So let's hope we hear from him. His side. This is if this is true. He has this, nothing to do. No pro, no problem. Yeah, that boy has nothing to say, man. He was only begging that we should do the show this night. He was only begging that bro, let's do the show on Monday night. Tomorrow is work day. Nobody will show up. Okay. Wow. This, this, this is my friend. Yeah? This is my friend, another Nigeria, right? He worked with the UN. He was there. Listen, Embassy the people are here. Eh? He was paying the whole money. Listen, yeah, he you was. can't go anywhere. You're writing a fucking statement. Embassy people, I don't care. He's writing a statement at the moment. The Embassy people can wait. They can wait. I have my they diploma. Can wait. Diploma. My friend is a friend at the Embassy. You don't have anything to demonstrate. Nobody yeah. has anything to do. Listen, you pay the whole Yes, happy. Uh, I think I would advise you do another show that you would um, get some promoters. And what, we need to do, what we need to do that is if we, if get it, artists, we can just to make these people happy, the damages, we just have to get an artist to do a free show for this country. Because that is the only way I can build my reputation. No, it's, bro, this country, the way they reason is different from what we reason. The stereotype of a Nigeria is already there. Mm. No. Wow. Wow. Yeah, it has pride. Oh, man. Smelling disgusting. Oh. He was there. He was, I was sitting there. He was sitting there face to face. I told him. Three times I knelt I down for him. Bro, I'm just trying to make a living out of the struggle we have in Nigeria. That's what I'm doing this year. Help me, just help me. He said, Steve, do you want me to perform with this polo and this only one gold? I said, what is gold? I don't even wear. This is what I just wear on my neck. Can I, can't I buy gold? If I can book it for $60,000, I can buy a big gold as well. You know? Right. And that's most of those money were put together by, like, we say the money they grant us, we just they try struggle, make we make better life. Abba, make you struggle, make you struggle. You are doing us proud abroad. We, if, if if what you're saying is true, you are doing us proud abroad, and you're also helping us sell our musicians abroad. If what you are saying is true, ah, is what you are saying it's not life. It is very very sad. It is not life. I mean, the way we love this guy, but his attitude is just messy. I'm telling you. He, well, we should wait and hear from him. But absolutely, me, I agree. Me, I, I, I have a hundred percent. So I'm I not. We lost not, this gentleman um, right here. Uh, please, if you're watching on Facebook, please buy stars. Just under the video, you can see where to buy stars. Support our channel so we can be bringing you breaking news like this. And it's not easy. Support our channel. You are not hearing this anywhere else. Mm. It's very sad, man. It's very sad. And I, on, and I just pray, you I pray it's going to end from for this. For legal reasons. For legal reasons. As a platform, I have to be, I have to show that I'm non-partisan. I have to it's show that Side. what i'm doing is bringing both sides of the story to you it's like what i did with um victor or simel his mm -hmm. family spoke his uh, brother-in-law spoke at the end of the day people were able to have a balanced narrative which is exactly um what i strive to be able to to get the promoter uh solomon Bucci is saying the promoter sounds broken absolutely they said Polo is there. Polo is there. Polo is here. Polo, please, if you are here, 
let me invite you live. Polo, if you are here, let me invite you live, my brother. At least tell us Kiss Daniel's side of the story as Kiss Daniel's is under your management. I always, as much as possible, try to hear both sides of the story. Um, I've sent Polo a request. Uh, I do hope he joins. Like I said, Polo has been my friend for 20 years. And we're, we're neighbors together. We used to stay. His house was like this. My house was like this. So, Polo, please, it would be nice if you could join us and share your side of the perspective. Somebody said this, Daddy Freeze is irritating. Since I'm irritating you, let me just rapture you from this live so you don't need to be irritated by me. <laughs> so, your irritation stops now. I can no longer irritate you. I've raptured you away. If you're watching once again on YouTube, on Facebook, do buy stars. Just right under the video, you can see where to buy stars. Polo is unable to join. I'm going to try to send him a request again. Um, uh, Paolo. Polo. Okay, send him a request again. Polo, try to join us and tell us your side of the story. Please. And um, this is not, even me, it's not the first time I'm hearing this about um, his Daniels. This is the first time I'm hearing this. So even Kiss himself he has a lot of work to do, especially with regards to his reputation. Because um, because you cannot continue doing this to people. If what they're saying to, and, and one thing is, uh, this person talks, this person talks, this person, it's always you. You don't hear this about Wiz. You don't hear this about David O. You don't even hear this about Bonner. As for as for David Doe, it almost happened regards David Doe, but he had to change his team. I'm inviting him out. Team and they became good. Hmm. Okay, Mohammed Alpha has joined us. Real Mo Mustafa, how are you, my brother? I'm fine, thank you, Daddy Freeze. How, how are you doing? I hope you're good. Very well, thank you. So, what has been your experience so far? Um, Freeze, let's be very, very honest. I'll, I'll tell you, this, this thing is being blurred over the top. I've had, I've seen uh, news and cases where they complain about his Daniel and all that. Let me tell you as a promoter in diaspora, not in Nigeria, in diaspora, we have these things with artists. I've worked, you know, I've worked with a lot of artists and I've worked with Kiss Daniel. You see, there must be a reason Kiss Daniel is not a crazy guy. You understand? I know Kiss Daniel, I've worked with Kiss Daniel. You understand what I'm saying? He's not a crazy guy. There must be something that 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 triggered what he did. And one guy was saying, I don't know if he was a promoter, with all respect to him, it's not easy to be a promoter. It's a very difficult task. Uh freeze. I've done shows where artists miss flights. You know, remember I used to be in Asia. Asia is not like uh, Tanzania or it's, it's, you are talking about a whole day of travel. You see, why call police no matter what happened? A promoter, no matter what happened, that's the code. I'm telling you, please. I'm paying. I'm not in Nigeria, but I'm paying because that is a Nigerian artist. If anything happens to that guy, do you think that the promoter is going to go scot free? No matter what happens. I heard the other promoter saying that, oh, Kiz was complaining he cannot wear. There is a contract. In that contract, there's what they call. Um, a, uh, huh? a rider. Sorry? Yes, a there's a rider. There's yes. a rider, the hospitality rider, and all those riders, the artists will you definitely clothes, hotel, whatever it is, it must be stipulated. It's it's clean and clean. You don't expect an artist to fly and come and wear what he, he wants to perform. Can you do that to a Kanye West? Hmm. Can you do that to, to a Rihanna? Let's let's be let's be realistic. I'm not supporting Kiss. And I mean, oh, not respect to the promoter. You understand? This, because I am a promoter that I've worked with artists. Let me tell you something. I'll just give you a little example. Okay, there's, a, there's an American pro, uh, uh, big artist. They are called, they are rockstar. They are called Nine Each Nail. I worked with them in Singapore. All right? In 2009. These guys, even in their rider, they did not, they did not specify that a particular uh, equipment that they use, you know, for their, for their performance. 
has to be rammed, rammed on the stage. On the day of the performance, this is Singapore, international, this is American artist, big names. They refused to come on stage to perform because they said that that equipment must be rammed onto the stage. We said, look, you know what? We, you guys didn't tell us this. We can get people to lift it and put it on the stage. Please. They said, no, it has to be rammed to the stage. So that night, we had to look for carpenters, look for people to come and build a ramp for them to wrap something we can easily carry and put on the stage. So sometimes, I'm not saying that Kizdana is correct, but the way we handle this thing, as a promoter, believe me, the most, Kizdana is not crazy. I've done yeah. challenges. I've seen challenges where Artists will be paid full payment. Full payment, oh, full payment, not partially payment. They will not miss their flights. I had this experience with a particular big artist in Nigeria. I had to postpone the show. So if Kiss Daniel requires or say that, okay, you know what? I can't perform today. Let's move the show. What the promoter has to do, that's what you're a promoter. You should be able, you know, to, to withstand challenges, to be ready for anything. When it comes to music promotion, we had the same thing with Lady Gaga. Far back, I'm giving you facts and figures. Oh. Far back in 2007, Lady Gaga was to perform in Singapore for a show, and they had an issue in Australia. They had to change that. That that they had to move that event. Events are moved. You understand? Events are moved. Yes, I know that. A lot of things have transpired. I'm not there. But depending on what the guy just said, listen, my friend, I know you're eager to reply to me. What I just heard and what I'm seeing, I'm just judging by what the guy is saying. Yes, I'm not saying that Kizdana is 100% correct. But what I'm saying is that there must be reason. I know this artist, what they think in their mind is totally different from what we think as promoters. So what you don't expect from the artist, expect it, it will happen. The most important thing is for you to have a successful show. That's the most important thing. Save, save your face. Save the fans. People have paid money to come and watch this artist. So what you have to do is do what they call damage control. Now, but, uh, yeah. uh, Musti, you were speaking about that thing that they used to ram the stage in Singapore. And yes. you guys quickly got carpenters and started building that equipment. Yes. Which is your effort to meet the artist halfway so that the artist might be able to perform their show the way they wanted to. Now, the yes. guy was on the live a few minutes ago, who, according to him, was the organizer of the event, said they brought kids, they went to open designer boutiques and said, you know what, let's find clothes for you that yeah. he used. How do we? How do you address that? If you're watching on Facebook, support the channel by buying stars. Click on the video. Under the video, you can see how you can buy stars. Buy stars now. Back to you, uh, Musti. How do you have? I want okay, to just a second. I wanted to say something so that I can give a holistic yeah. answer. Okay. Please I go want ahead. To add more to that question. Um, mm -hmm. Quite all right. Events could be moved, right? But not when people have have been seated, waiting for these artists. How do you how do you fix that at that okay. point, at that moment? Okay, can I can, can I address you now to that question? Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah. Let me take your first question, please. You said the promoters went to open up a boutique. That's the side of their story. They went to open up a boutique for him to choose the clothes, and he refused. Correct. The first, yeah. according to yes, them. according to them. So the first thing we ask, I'm going to go to your point, the second point, my brother. The first thing we should ask. Did the promoter, which I know that Keith Dan is under Polo and Polo is, is someone is an OG in this game. Ask him, do you ask him, was there a technical writer and hospitality writer? First question. And when was Keith Dan supposed to arrive for the event? Second question. You understand? Which I didn't I didn't hear them say anything about that. You know, and maybe my ear is blocked, but I didn't hear them say anything about that. So if they have a technical writer. And or hospitality rider, which is obviously what he wants. Hospitality rider is what hotel, where they want to stay close and all that. That's hospitality rider. Would he, was there a hospitality rider first? And what did Kiss Daniel demand? You cannot tell a Kiss Daniel, for example, because an artist, right? They have a way they want to 
appear to their fans and perform. Each artist has his own different way of doing things. We see that Lady Gaga sometimes she comes from crazy things that you never even expect. You understand what I'm saying? You see somebody who does come with only t-shirt, those rock stars will come with only singlet. Each artist has his preference. So, first thing, did they discuss about his preference? That's question number one. Number two, when was he supposed to arrive for that event? This I'm just saying that I'm not, I'm not, first of all, I'm yeah, not yeah, backing yeah. Kizadero. Yeah. I'm talking as a promoter, how to do damage control. Now, if there's a hospitality rider, okay, and kids, they meet to that hospitality rider, even at the time they are not supposed to say, okay, they went to open the boutique. Okay, you wanted a jacket now. Eh, we don't bring a jacket for you. It might be you wanted uh, a Gucci. We don't have Gucci. All we have is a Lacoste. A jacket is a jacket. You get my point? Then that's a different case. Okay? So these are things that sometimes trigger these artists. And these artists, they're in their mind. In their mind. You should understand the way artists think. In their mind, once there's something they want and they don't get it, it triggers them. It gives them one kind... I don't understand. I don't know whether or not Juju have been a that, one thing. That is a silly ego, man. He's got yeah. pride. I mean, no, it's not only, it's not only Nigerian artists. Wow. It's not only Nigerian artists. It happens one way. I'm telling you. It's one way. It's with artists. It's a disease. With artists. It's a disease. Coming back to your own second question. If everybody is seated, okay? I want to give you an uh, example of me, what I've done. I was working with another promoter that brought flavor. Never yeah, you know, he was able to perform in Malaysia at that time. And Flavor had some issues. Okay, he was supposed to be on the flight, and maybe there was technical issues, not his fault. People already bought tickets. Then he was up, people spent tens of thousands of dollars setting up that stadium. He didn't show up. So what did they do? They, they made a party out of it, they created another party. You understand? I moved the event to the following week. So as a promoter, you should be ready to expect anything. It, being a promoter is not something you just wake up one morning and say, I'm a promoter. My brother, let me tell you something. I did Chocolate Life. If they are watching, they know me. I know them very well. Chocolate Life in the whole Chocolate City. The whole Chocolate City. They were coming to, uh, 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 what do you call it? Sorry, not Chocolate City. EME. Banky W. There was Banky, Whiskey, you know, um, the other guy. What's his name again? The third guy. They were coming to Malaysia. First thing first. The date that was set for the event was two days. So as a promoter, I bring in the artist two days before. That means if they are performing on Saturday, they arrive on Friday. So they have ample time to do whatever they have to do. There's any little glitch here and there, we can fix it before that event. Because they don't get excuse. Because the more you keep them in that country, the more they are losing money. That's how they think. Every day for them, that means they charge you a lot of money. Because they'll think, if I'm in Lagos, I'm going to fly and arrive this day, then finish, then the next day, then I fly. They'll calculate all those things. For them, it's, it's, it's money. So you, as a promoter, you should understand that artists will come boom, bam, bam, and go. You understand? The, so the, now, the, according to the guy, Kiss Daniel was in town already. Already. So he arrived, that they brought him, they had the one that brought him, or he came for another event. I don't know about so, when I came for another event. No, but he, he said he said the flight supposed already. to be. Okay. And he said the flight supposed to be. With us. We have somebody with us. Guys, if you're watching for, on Facebook, support the channel. Buy stars right under the video. You see the link to buy stars. Buy stars. Yes, sir. We have somebody else just joining us now. Let's quickly hear him. How no, are you doing? I'm fine. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Go ahead. What is your take? My take, I, I'm just trying to reply to what the um, promoter said, the young man that came in. There is an addition with them. I want okay. to say something that the um, Kisdania flight is supposed to be around 11. So they need yes. to call someone. Them to call someone to make sure Kizania arrives before the time. So with that statement, he's trying to make that you have tried to check all options to change the time of the event, which does not work. That's why he makes sure he find another alternative. Kizania must be there. And you come that I said he just started. He just started. So you are an OG in the game already. So you can't compare the way you undo your own uh, promote promotion show. With the way he's going to undo his own. He's I agree with you. I agree. So you need to I totally agree. What I'm saying now, is, let me tell you something. What I'm saying is, and we have to take this for other young promoters coming up. Once you live in another country and you are flying your promoter, your artist from Nigeria to that country, the, the well-being of that artist is your responsibility. 
no matter what happens, let me tell you something. I've had this with Timaya. Timaya is my brother. You understand? I've had this with Timaya. You understand? And I fixed the issue, even though I lost a lot of money. And that has kept me with Timaya. We're friends till today. You understand what I'm saying? I lost, he knew I lost a lot of money because of that. Imagine, you know, I'm bringing an artist from Nigeria to Asia, not to next door neighbor or Ghana. Asia, you know how much is business class? You know how much is logistics? But what I'm trying to say as a promoter, never allow your artist, never in any history, that the rich producer, they arrest them. They arrest your artist. Police of that country, they arrest them. My brother, it's damaging to your petition as a promoter. You might, you might look right, oh, you might look everything is okay, oh. but my brother, going forward, going forward, if you want to take this as a business, Fritz is there, Fritz will tell you. I was doing a show in 2013 and lost over one point something million dollars. Axin is there. He was part of that show. You understand? I almost went crazy in South Africa, but I didn't cause any damage to anybody, to any of the artists or anything. The company that made me failed. Because of this, I'm telling you, this is what I'm talking about. Just bringing the show. I spent money building stage. You understand? So first thing yeah. first, artists, artists always they're like babies. Eh? They're like small children. You have to pamper them. The the goal for you eh, is for you to achieve a wonderful show. You can't fight with artists. Then they fight them, and they tell you as a promoter. I have a statement from Big Step Consultancy. As mm. said by the gentleman who was on my live earlier on, the same man who said he was um, with Kiss Daniels at the station. He said, Big Step Consultancy wishes to apologize to the public for what happened at the Summer Amplified concert slated for Sunday, August 7th, 2022, where the headline artist Kiss Daniels in was fully paid failed to perform as planned. We sincerely apologize for the inconvenience this cost our customers who trusted us and supported our event partnered with Straight Up Vibes. We would like to assure the entire public and fans who paid and showed for the concert that they're doing all we can to ensure the appropriate measures are being taken to make sure that everyone involved is held accountable and our customers and fans are taken care of as we can request your patience as we deal with it. Any inconvenience caused is, is sincerely regretted, and we assure you that Big Step will continuously sh strive to deliver great event experiences in the future to all <laughs> our customers. More details will be shared. Thank you for understanding and your tremendous support. We shall communicate future steps as soon as we can. Marilyn Mutendera, Operations Manager. So, um, uh, I want to I, I want to ask why you would say that um, you should not arrest a an artist if there is a breach of contract. Is an artist bigger than? the law if the law says do this oh yes i understand um, the sentiments of the rider uh, uh, that you clearly explained uh, but is now what the gentleman said was the airline lost kiss daniel's bag i know how frustrating it is to lose a bag and i yes. also advise people anything you consider valuable wear it on your body or carry it in your hand luggage and luggage yeah never check it in as a matter of fact as they see me i hate luggage if i cannot <laughs> and that's why i don't if, if i'm coming to nigeria and you know i will dodge you because you will tell me to carry one <laughs> or carry uh, so but please what you just said sorry to go okay sorry musti i just want to be fair here mm. I, why something as valuable as a chain will be checked in. I will never check in. I'm wearing a $50,000, $70,000 watch. I will not check it in. If I can't wear it around my hand, I will hang it around my neck. What is it doing? And I now cannot even carry it in my hand luggage. I'm now carrying it in my main luggage. I will not, I don't see, I don't, under, okay, let me not, I'm not going to judge Kiss because I need to be fair. 
But I don't, it, it, it defies my logic. And I don't know if you guys here understand that. Yes, sir. Now, suddenly, it's not the show's, the promoter's fault that you lost your luggage. Why don't you sue the airline? Take it up as an issue with the airline. Let me tell you, if Kiss Daniels climbs that stage and says, this airline is useless, they lost my luggage, I they will beg it for one year. I swear. Ah, yes. Okay, can I, can, can I, can I, can I, can I tell you something? And climb the stage, if not me, because Daniels, me, here's my opinion, what I will do, I will just wear a Jaga Jaga shirt and say, the reason why I don't have shirt is because so, so, and so airline <laughs> lost my baggage. <laughs> I tell you the truth, they will lose 50% of their customers that night. No. Okay, that, before he talks, I want to run. Maybe you can bring in DJ EK. I have to run. Hey, DJ EK. Oh, mm. All right, I'm going to bring in DJ EK right away. Thank you so much for this. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for sharing your experience. And those of you on Facebook who are buying uh, stars, please keep buying the stars to support the channel. DJ EK, if you're here, please let me bring you on. DJ EK, if you are here, please. Let me bring you on. So, an artist is powerful. The, 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 the promoter is not the one who frustrated you. It's the airline. Why are you... The airline is... Right now, the airline is somewhere minding their business. So, this thing, no splash, reach them. Three bullets, never even meet them. We we'll never even know the airline name. Go, go. Do you know that it's an airline? Airline will pay you fifty thousand dollars just to come and do damage control and say eh, they've sorted you out. Do you know how much they will, if Kiss Daniel say he lost his baggage? Me, they don't bond me well to enter that airline. That means if Kiss Daniel says he lost my baggage, that means if I carry picking, I feel lost the picking inside the airline. <laughs> so we, just to explain mm. that, okay, this is what the promoter is saying. What is your side of the story? Did they try to... You see, in media, we have what you call make good. You understand? Everything... Mm. Okay, I missed your show because of this, 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 and this. But you know what? I'll come and do another show for you on Tuesday. And when I'm coming, I'll bring Olamide. So that way, they say, okay, you know what? Ah, he's even coming with Olamide for free. Ah, no, no. You see, what are you going to also... To your fans, artists need to understand. I, in as much as I abuse people in my life, I am not my fan. There are two thousand plus watching on Facebook, two thousand plus watching on Instagram. It just dropped to one nine one seven, two hundred and eighty on TikTok Live, and six hundred on YouTube. We are talking of a total of about six thousand people watching me live. I cannot let them down. If me, I can gather 6,000 people here. Imagine how many people Kiss Daniels will gather. These people make me, the people that buy me stars on Facebook, they help promote my channel. The people that watch are the people that help my channel grow. I have to be respectful to them. If I tell them I'm coming at a certain time and I don't come, I owe them an apology. For every cancellation, I owe them an apology. And I believe now they've not paid me all they are waste paying, all they are doing is they are using their data. Imagine they paid me to come on this live and I now come late or I don't come at all. I have to apologize. I have to make good in my humble opinion. I've also been in the media for 21 years and I know what it is like to have a plan to have plans to go out on a Saturday or a Sunday and then the plans are ruined. So some guy wanted to propose to his girlfriend at that event. He can't propose again, and he bought tickets. Do you understand? So the, 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 the losses are more than just what Kiss Daniels would, would, would roll and say, okay, this is what happened. It, it's a lot. Martel, this was a sponsor. What happens to those? Okay, now, you said you are going to bring Kiss Daniels. Martel came with drinks. You did not bring Kiss Daniels. Do you think Martel will answer you next time? Now, all these sponsors are very useful because they save you the money you will spend on buying drinks. And Mattel will come with a certain amount of drinks. So while people are vibing to Kiss Daniels' wonderful music, I must re re uh, retrade this. Kiss Daniels is one of Africa's, not Nigeria, one of Africa's most talented sons. You cannot be at a Kiss Daniels.
just concert and not vibe. You will definitely yeah. vibe. I have Kiss Daniel songs on my all-time play favorite playlist and on my current favorite playlist. There is yeah. no way you will be listening to Kiss Daniels with a drink in your hand and you will vibe. So those Mattel who also wanted to sell their drinks, security yeah. has been paid. Uh, so many people make their business <laughs> around these shows. So it is not just, I couldn't find my chain and I couldn't show up. The rider was incomplete. What are you, okay, what you owe your, the, why don't you do the show unless it's like they did not do anything to help. They were just being idiots. As long as they didn't do the show, then sue them for not giving your rider. Okay, uh, sorry, please. Sorry to cut you short. For being a bad please, let me, let me, sorry to cut you short. You see, first thing first, I'm not coming here to say I'm defending Kiss Daniel. I'm coming here as a promoter that understands the hazards of this business. Okay? Kiss Daniel, let me ask you guys one question. Is Kiss Daniel a madman? First of all, for him to live where he is, enter plane, where if he crash, begin come to Tanzania, if he doesn't want to perform in that show. That's one question we should ask ourselves. It's not, it's not crazy enough to say, uh, make another enter plane so that they go there, go, go scatter the show and go perform. <laughs> Let's we have to look at both sides of the coin. You understand? I'm giving you the hazard. And the only thing I can take into consideration, now we've not heard about Kiss Daniel's real side of the story. We're only hearing one side of the story. You understand? I can just take exception that this guy is a young promoter, he's not well experienced to handle unforeseen that incident will happen. You know, because we will get experience. You understand? I know that Kizdana is not mad, first of all, to fly, to come. Hello, who is his management? As I heard, that he's dead too. So you think it is a madman to also fly with his artist just to not come and perform to destroy that show? All right, we have yes. another gentleman who just joined us. Um, yes. Here from his side. You have made a lot of sense, uh, Musti, um, and we're here to have an open discussion. So there's another gentleman here. Please, sir, uh, can we see you? The gentleman on the far right. It's like he just stepped out. Hello, Rally Fresh. Yes, sir. Um, so please. So this, so this is what I want to say, right? If, if eventually what that guy said is true, right? Who made his done it? God made him to be an artist who, to be who he is today. Then the fans, you know, made him to be where he is today. The Absolutely. Fans, regardless of anything, the fans should matter, you know, more to you. Regardless of anything, your clothes, your chain you want to put on, just take the, just value, value, value what the fans are going to benefit from you. Because they enjoy your music. If they don't play your music, who, how, are you going to be where, where you are today? No. Whenever I'm going to, I play kids and you know, songs. So the, the fans should matter, you know, more to you, regardless of anything. That's why I just want to con con contribute to, to what is going on. My Thank brother, you. I agree with you. I agree with you that the fans matter. I, I, you, you, you're 100% correct. The fans, without the fans, there's no artist. Without the promoters, there are no artists. Without OAPs, there are no artists. It's a combination of a whole you know, a long song to make an artist. So if you like, you sing past uh, Angel, if you don't have all these components, you're not going to go anywhere. I under, I totally understand with you. But sometimes, honestly, let's step, take, just take one step backwards. This artist in question is a human being. It's human beings can make error. He might have taken a decision that is not the right decision. You understand what I'm saying? Listen to me. I'm always, very, I'm always very fair. I can come and defend. I have one of 101 ways to defend Chris Daniel with all these things that is there. I have one of them. As a promoter, I understand this game. But I'm saying that whatever they have done, the promoter should be able to do what they call damage control and not to arrest him. That is my own problem. You understand? So, okay. I'm Don't not, arrest I'm not, him. I'm not, I'm not in support of the arrest, though. I remember when Chris Daniel needed to come to the U.S., right? When mistakes are being made more than two times, right, it's normally a mistake. It's exactly. A, it's, it's a deliberate, deliberate act. I agree so with you. Look at what happened in the U.S. You know, friends were waiting for you. One of, my, I, one of my, one of my, my friends. This is the event venue. I'm just getting these videos. Look at the event venue. You can see Martel in the background. 
This is the yeah. issue. And it is reported that the fans trashed the venue when they didn't see Kiss Daniels. So I'm going to show you more pictures as I'm getting them. You can see the Martel in the background this, here. This same thing, this same thing was, supposed, was supposed, to, supposed to happen in the U.S. And you guys, when the fans, when the fans waited for this same thing, Daniel, and it came late. They were, they were all shouting, they, refund our money, refund our money, refund our money. This same thing happened again in the U.S. Why would you do that to fans? These are the people that are listening to your song. That people that are actually you know, you know, make you who you are today. I agree with you. You know, you know, as 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 someone in this game, in this business, right? I've seen a venue uh, where an artist didn't show up. It happened to me in my. I had the biggest nightclub, the biggest space at that time in Malaysia. Kotlas, all these AK, all these boys, they call Konfra. Now Kotlas, they taste spilled blood. I've I've seen these things happen. So what I'm saying is, you know, as 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 a Nigerian promoter, all these Mattel, all these companies, they are promoting. You understand? They know they have hazards. It's not starting on Kiss Daniel's head. It's not finished on Kiss Daniel's head. This has, hazards has been happening even in the people that taught us entertainment in America, in Europe, from football to music to so many. We know all those things. You understand? What I'm saying is that if I were the promoter, if I were the promoter, what I would do? Yeah? If I were the promoter, this is what I'm going to handle. First of all, there were guests. People came and bought tickets, right? Yeah. And if not, Kizani, what I would do as a promoter, I would do, I would come out and make a proposal to the audience. That happened to me. I'll tell you what I did in Malaysia. All that I do for Tanzania, there's no Chris which boys in Mali those days. If anybody know about Mali boys, they the Chris. You understand what I'm saying? You appeal and say, look, they will have a technical issue. Yada, yada, yada. Your money will be funded back or whatever. There's a way you can appease these people. You understand? And you now strike, you now sort this problem amicably with the artist, you understand, Freeze, then have, you know, if you have to. My own whole point about this, first of all, I know Kizai did not go to Tanzania to mess up this guy's show. I know that for fact. You understand? Because he wouldn't even fly to go to there. Number two, Kiz Daniel, there must be something, Freeze, there must be something. And going, you know, going forward in the, ne in the next few days or few, few hours, we will hear your own side of the story. You understand what I'm saying? There is something that nobody is telling us That's yet. You understand? So my whole thing is, don't get police involved. I'm not saying don't get police. There's a way we handle it. We've had disputes with artists, and we handle it. Somebody's event was spoiled. They scattered the uh, Who are you going to hold? Is but Kizan is not the one that scattered the venue now. Was this Kizan that scattered the venue? You saw him now. As a result Guys, yeah, listen. Good okay, Greetings. <laughs> Hi, how you guys doing? My name is uh, Lentini. I'm here in Los Angeles. How are you guys doing? Um, uh, sir, I, I mean, I, I agree with you to a certain extent, but I disagree with you fully with not getting police involved and all that stuff. You yeah. have to understand. I'm, doing, I'm only going to address two things. I've said so much about Kiss Daniel that I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm, at this point, I'm embarrassed and just disgusted by the whole thing. So I'm not going to say too much on Kiss Daniel, but I want to say, I want to just talk in general. Yes, you have to understand that most of these artists, have, they've ended careers. Yeah. Promoters have lost homes. They've lost cars. They've lost family. They've lost all of that stuff, especially promoters like us, that we, we don't get sponsors. It's our money that we use to bring yeah. in artists. And we want to promote yeah. our culture. We want to promote this artist. We do this. It's a business for us as well as a passion. Yeah. Now, when, I, when you invest forty, fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000 on a Nigerian artist and he doesn't show up and you're saying if he's close to me or he's in my city and you're telling me not to arrest him, it doesn't, it doesn't make any sense because who's going to pay me back? Because I have to pay the fans. Exactly. You understand what I'm saying? So yeah. you cannot say, don't make enemies with artists. Don't. It's a business for many of us in the diaspora. We don't have the MTNs. We don't have the Glows. We don't have the Mattel sponsoring us. It's our yeah. money, collectively. So when you lose money like that, who pays you back? So I just Absolutely. lose money because an, art, and then, and I, an artist wants to shine. I've, I've done business with Case Daniel before. It was horrible. Many people know that. I'm not going to go into it. Secondly, I want to address that freeze. I totally agree with you. 
about your brand and fans. So when a Nigerian artist say, oh, my fans, thanks to my fans, and they don't really mean it. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Because when you mess up as much as this, there's no apology, there's no regard to the fans, there's no respect for the fans and all of that stuff. So when they come out, I can say, oh, my fans did this, my fans did that. Which Nigerian artist, I stand to be corrected, which Nigerian artist has messed up so much and they've come back to give those, that city a free show? Just like that, the freeze was saying, to say, I'm sorry, due to circumstances that, I, that are beyond me, right? I messed up, but I'm going to come back and do good. Yeah. Which Nigerian artist, maybe in, in the diaspora, I don't know if they do it in, in Nigeria, in Africa, but in the diaspora, which Nigerian artist has done that in any city? to say, I messed up, I'm sorry, I'm here, free show. None. They do not care about the fans. They do not care about the promoter because once you book an artist, they act as if they, they're doing you a big favor. They act as if they're doing you a favor. Bro, I just paid you money to perform. You're working for me and my team. You're not doing me a favor. So you yeah. tell an artist, promote the show. You beg them to promote the show. I'm not going to perform. I know. You're the one performing. You beg an artist, post the flyer now. Send us a video drop. Post it on your page. Post Bro. it here. You know, I'm sorry, sorry to, to, to cut you short. I beg, because I need to run. But let me tell you something. You are 100% correct. You know, for promoters that don't get sponsors. And I am a living experience of that. I, I am one of the pioneers of African entertainment in Southeast Asia. I started in 2005. Okay. I, I brought all this, most of these artists to Malaysia. And I went through a lot. I did that. I traveled. I went to South Africa. I, I spent six months. You know why, why I feel your pain? Okay. I am pleased that he's talking right here. I spent six months flying, promoting African music, Nigerian music, my own money. Nobody's giving me money. I was on one, I think Freeze had a show one time called Table of Men when it was doing, when it was in Cool FM. Yeah. And we had a conversation about it. So I came out and I trashed a lot of promoters and artists. But what I'm saying is this, bro. You and I have, we are from the, we beg artists, we will give them money, we beg them. I beg, do a video, send them to me. I was a particular artist, very big in Nigeria, I don't want to call his name. I flew someone from Nigeria, from Malaysia. He flew to Nigeria to go and record his drop. Flew to go and record a video drop for a show that he's performing, you know, that I'm paid him. You understand what I'm saying? But because what I'm saying is this, and I don't want the viewers and audience to get me wrong. I'm saying, as promoters in diaspora, if artists, I pay you artists for money for Nigeria, you know, through my show, I can shoot you in Nigeria. But you see, once you fly an artist, you take an artist. Because let me tell you something. You see, now one of our Nigerians are human beings. They're very funny. If not happy with the artist tomorrow, because he not do your show well, they will come after you, the promoter. If you don't come after. Believe me, I'm, I don't want people to talk. Being in the business to understand it. I've been in the business for 17 years. My brother, 17 years is no joke. I know the hazards. What? So you are right. So this You're is correct. It. You are very correct. What? My only thing is that Whatever has happened in Tanzania, we are not there. We just we're just saying one side of the story and whatever it is. Try as much and resolve that dispute that it doesn't go to the authorities. That's what I'm saying. What about my mistake? With this well, African, again, you know why? Let me say something. You know why? No, 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 no. This that's African the point. Now. Somebody pushed you to my mistake. He said I'm in fire. Wait, no, 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 no. That's the point. You're that's that's the point you are missing. The point yeah. you are missing respectfully. The point you are missing is the show has already been messed up. Exactly. What are you resolving amicably? You have that. You're not listen. Oh, no, no, wait, 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 wait. Can I, can I say something, sir? Hold on. Will, yes. You, can I say something? You wanna? You, you Go Mr. Ahead. Mustafa. You, Mr. Mustafa, yes. with, with the hat. Yes, ma'am. You, you keep telling us about your experience and how you've done it for 17 years. We are in 2022. Reputation speaks for itself. It is really sad that Kiss Daniel, this is what he's known for, instead of the good music right. he plays. He should have right. been more worried about his fans. And a young man, a fellow man, knelt down and pleaded with him for what he said, right. obviously. 
Come on. I like that. What you said. Well, hold on. We should have human sympathy. I'm sorry, sir. I disagree with you in all totality. You come here and you tell us you're dropping names like Kanye West and, and Lady Gaga. Let me tell you, if they were not humble, they would not be where they are. You request... Or professional. What you if they were not earned. professional, they would not be where they are. Yes, you request what you have earned, regardless of you doing promoting for 17 years. It seems that you are the kind of promoters that enable this behavior. Hence, Kiss Daniel keeps... Madam, it over madam, over madam, there. madam, I respect your view. I respect your view. I respect your view. Please, let me finish. please do not Would insult you? me. Please, no, 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 please I'm don't. Not, I'm just, please I'm don't. Insulting you. No, you are saying that I'm the kind of promoter that. Is. Please don't you're, do that. No, you're we're having a discussion, you're and I'm saying to you, yeah, I'm saying to you, let's let's hear each other out. Let's let's be respectful. Please don't don't disrespect me. Please. I'm insulting you. I'm saying your utterances. Your utterances. You you should read. You should honestly after this go back and read the comments. Your utterances seems to be enabling this behavior from I'm your, not, your I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. You don't get it right. You know, I said to you. But you said to treat them like babies. How no, can I said you treat someone can't. whom you, you have know, paid money? I you, agree with Daniel you. Daniel has actually damaged other Nigerian artists by no, this no, 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 behavior. No, 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 he hasn't, he hasn't. Because, the yeah, let me tell you something, huh? No, madam, let me tell you something. I'm not blaming the promoter. I listen to me when I'm saying something. I said I am telling you going forward, there are hazards in this business. And I'm sure you understand. The knew there can was I, hazards can, in the business. Can I, can and I, can that I was finish why this? Took time I'm trying to, to open three the boutiques, three you know, designer boutiques to accommodate him. That is yes, what that, that, that is, is evil. Madam, and the Bible that says is what that he said. Madam, that's is what unknown. he said. Remember, I'm not supporting Kiss Daniel. I need to understand where I'm coming from. I'm not saying Kiss Daniel has done it is 100% correct. I'm not saying that. That's not what I'm saying. Understand where I'm coming from. I say as a promoter, the experience that we've had with this artist, the same thing this gentleman is saying on the below, uh, below freeze is exactly what happened to me. He's saying exactly what had happened to me. You understand? At that point, I would have taken those kind of decisions. I say, you know what? I want to finish this attempt because I know because the what you're saying. Oh, one second, what, Mr. Mustafa, one yeah. second. What you're saying is settling, settling it amicably. I don't understand what that How means. Settle it amicably. Because, at this point. because, because, because the main, the main point or the main reason why Case Daniel is in that city or in that country is for the show. Exactly. And once yes. you haven't showed up for the show, that's that the whole the the, the promoter's reputation, the promoter's money. The brands that are a part of it, the people who took off time from work, who spent money, bought tables, and it's already been messed up. What is the um, what, why are we settling anything exactly. amicably? Okay, can I ask you one no, thing? There's no way to, I, because two people to the live. Okay, can I just ask him something? One question before he goes. You're a promoter, yeah? Me? Yes, I am. <laughs> no, uh, no, no, you are not. I'm talking about him. No, I, no, I know you're not. Yes, I am. You're a promoter, right? Yes, I am. You did this, Daniel. Yes. He messed up. Was it the only show you've done after after that? What's the question again? Sorry. You, you, you said you actually did a show with Kiss Daniel and he messed you up, right? Yes. After yes. that Kiss Daniel show, did you have any other shows after that? Oh, I've, I've oh, done that was multiple. the last one. Huh? I've done multiple shows. No, you just, get, you just answered your question. You just answered Which the question you just asked me. You said to me that this would damage the reputation of the promoter. Yes. Yeah, wait, yes. Can, I, can, I, can I answer it, you? Can I answer it, it you? Will. Wait, wait, can I answer you, please? Please. With all due respect, sir. Maybe some other day I'll get your hand. Yeah. With all due respect, sir. Right. You said that would damage the, the, the promoter's reputation. But it didn't damage your reputation. You still went on. See, there are hazards in these things. There are hazards in this thing. We've lost. You to, you what, know, are what, you we've lost? what are you talking about? What it's I'm a saying is that, so because I've done, that, so because I've done one not, bad business. It does, not, it, does not, it does not damage your reputation. What happened is, what happened is that you understand it does not damage your reputation what happened as a promoter that's what i'm saying that the excuse i have for the guy that happened to him because he's new in the game maybe he doesn't have that experience you have a lot of experience even artists well, if you are bringing an artist tomorrow to america you already know the hazards that can happen that might occur at any level you know that already you understand so you are prepared for that you understand can i finish please so please be open have an open mind this thing that you're saying has happened to us too it has happened to me so i'm not saying because one artist has messed me up then my reputation is damaged no it's not it's okay. that you go forward from there well, and try to 
please, in the near future, I'm just saying, I'm not, everybody has his own opinion. I don't care what people are saying. I'm not here to protect Kiz Daniel or say what Kiz Daniel did is right. I'm only saying that as a promoter in diaspora, okay, when you bring your artist to that country, try and solve whatever matter you have to solve in a more, not getting the, 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 the police, the authorities involved. You know why? It damages, according to you now, I'm using your word, it damages the reputation of the Nigerians. So it's going to, it's going to be right. a ripple effect. Sorry, um, Muslim, okay. somebody new here, and then there's a DJ, there's one DJ you guys were mentioning that you want me to bring. What's that DJ? DJ EK. Okay, let me bring him in. Who wants to leave? No, 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 no. I want you to talk. talk. I'll, 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 so DJ... I'll Mark, head out. Okay, you head out. God bless you, bro. But still be around. Thank you, Garth. If you want to say something, all right. Take care and God bless you. So I want to bring DJ Ike on to join us. Uh, DJ Ike, please send me a request if you can. It always helps. I should remove you. I should remove the mute. Send me a request, DJ Ike. Okay, I've seen your request and I've accepted it and I'm bringing you live. All right, so apparently DJ Ike is also a promoter. So we have, and now I'm surrounded Hello. by promoters. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm here. Okay, sorry. Buy stars if you're watching on Facebook. Don't forget to buy stars. All right, go ahead. Yeah, um, thank you for bringing me in, Dad. The phrase. No, um, well, let me let me answer, uh, Mr. Mustafa. Mr. Mustafa, you said you've been in Malaysia. You've done quite a number of shows in Malaysia. I will I will now tell you, um, you are very wrong in all your statements. As a promoter. I'm here in Europe. I've been in this uh, game for more than 20 years. I've done a lot of artists. I've, I've done almost all Nigerian artists, um, African artists. There was a time I hosted Whiskey in Berlin. We were meant to have just a show with a DJ. And Whiskey, personally, as he saw this show, he paid the composers in London. He used his own money to book the composers in London just to beef up that show. So if you are saying that a promoter, because the lady, um, you said um, if an artist fucks you up, it is very easy to come back. It's hmm. not that easy. Watch your words, algorithm. Yeah. It is not that easy. It depends. It, it depends on the reputation of that promoter. Many artists have fucked me up a lot. Sorry, hey, I've done... A, so sorry, please, yeah. Go. Okay, yeah. Many, the airport. Yeah. Mm. Many, many artists have done that a lot. That we promoters that don't have sponsors, we do lose a whole lot of money. We lose a whole lot of money. You understand? So... Your whole point, your whole point is just, uh, I, I'm sorry to say this, your whole point is just invalid. Your whole point is just, in, 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 because that guy, that guy, that promoter said, Chris Daniel was already in the country. He only mis, uh, he misplaced his luggage and they were just begging him to come on stage. About six years ago, uh, seven years ago, I brought Timaya on the Europe tour. We were meant to perform in Vienna. When we landed, Timaya's luggage did not land. Timaya was so angry, so angry. He even said he is not going back. He, he, he is not coming out from the airport till KLM brings that luggage. And KLM was promising us that in three hours, there's another flight flying in from Amsterdam. I had to beg Timaya, please take it easy. Let's go out. Timaya was so your key, your key. Let's go. Yeah. Timaya was so, you know, Timaya was so kind and said, okay, I let's go out and do that show. Any artist, any artist, irrespective of who you are, irrespective of who you are, your fans, your fans comes first. If I, a promoter, pays you, you are working for me. 
You are working for me. No matter how big you are, I am paying you. I am paying you to come yes, and do the services. Yes. So my, you are working for me. At that moment, you know, you are there. Now you spoke about riders. You, uh, you spoke about a technical rider, uh, this or that. Polo. Ask Polo. Polo is my very good friend. I work with Polo. I'm always at One African uh, uh, Music Fest in Dubai every year. I work with Polo. So if you are saying um, we have to treat the artist like a baby, like a baby for what? He, he is being paid. He is being paid. This guy paid $60,000. A show is already sold out. People already bought tickets. People are already seated. And you are saying damage control? What sort of damage control? What sort of damage control? When Chris, can you... Can I answer him so that we can get our set straight? Can I, 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 know, say can I, I will come to you. Let me answer him. Answer him. So, Curry, let me hold say on. something before you yeah. answer. Yeah. Before so we can listen so that we can hear. I want you mm. to answer both of us together. I'm the okay. original promoter. The original promoter of this concert wants to come back live. The yeah, yeah, yeah. Promoter, yeah, of course. So it is better all our I'm up. are with I'm up for it. Yeah. I've told so you go ahead. I want to say, Ash, wait. You want me to answer two of you together, right? You? Okay, go ahead. And I'm sure you also want to talk to DJ Ike. So yes, I'm 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 here. I'm, I'm here. Are you a promoter too, or you just want to show I, I your am opinion? a promoter. I a am promote a promoter. A I'm also I mean the other guy. Yeah, I he's a promoter. A, I promote. I manage talent. A couple of people here on Instagram on your live know me. Okay, so please. Share, I'll give you two minutes to share your experience so I can bring the main promoter, the one that is in the middle of this whiskey issue. So I said, God forgive whiskey. Um, Daniel. Issue, so we can hear from him again. So please, what is so your experience? I would just like to ask the barista a simple question Why should you engage somebody in the business where you've paid the business? And the person's goal and objective is to make life difficult for you. Yes. So, and you are saying that I should not get police involved because I want to be pro-Nigerian. Where I am now, I am with a popular DJ, DJ Neptune. And mm. DJ Neptune and I are on a project. Big up DJ to Neptune. 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 Tell Neptune I'm Neptune here. Tell Neptune, Neptune, Neptune I'm here. And, and Neptune, you. show face. No, I work with Neptune. Neptune. I work with Neptune. Neptune. Ah, I work with that yeah. same Neptune you're talking Neptune. about. Excuse me. Neptune. Yes, that's Neptune. Neptune. That's my boy. Me. Excuse me. Yeah. Excuse me. Neptune has followed me to everywhere from money to now. So that this stuff we are doing together can succeed. It's not making my life difficult. And you are saying to me, I can't get police involved because he's a Nigerian. If he thought of me as a Nigerian, would you mess up my business? A business I paid him $60,000. I opened three boutiques for him. Take Not even sixty. You, it, when a promoter pays $60,000... Okay. Oga, 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 Mr. Oga, promoter. Oga, you're a promoter. Oga, wait <laughs> now. We are not fighting. I'm He's asking me a question. Can I answer? He's asking me a question. Let me answer. That. We are not, I mean, why are you fighting? You are a promoter. You are using money. Your money. Look, I use I'm my money. And I'm sure the lost have lost. You guys have lost it. Bad so let us not go there. When did you do your last show? Yeah, when? Which you are enemy? I'll answer you. Wait, I'll answer you. Let him finish. Okay, uh, my dear friend. Yeah, just quickly respond to because get out of the life. You that you are saying you are with Neptune, right? You are with Neptune. Yes. Let me bring. Please ask him. Tell him you are with Stronghold. He but knows me. Ask him. So my, my one ask him who I am. I am. And how, how, many how passionate... Are wait, now you ask, I'd answer you now. How passionate I am with Nigerian music. Okay, Nigerian entertainment. I, I worked with Neptune. You ask him, he will tell you. Then let me you answer you, Oga. Let, let, me ask, let me ask you, Oga. Oga, let me ask you. Let me ask you something. Mm -hmm. You said to me that I'm totally wrong. As a promoter, you're not even supposed to say that. Let me tell you why. There's okay, a code. Can I, let me, I, I listen to you, so please listen to me. All right. Okay? Each and every one of us have our experience in this game. And you're asking me in Malaysia, we are the people that grew Nigerian entertainment. Go and ask anybody. So okay. let me tell you, I'm not, I'm not here to toot horns, but what I'm trying to say, there are damages when it comes to entertainment. Okay? When it comes to a show, what I am saying, please listen to me carefully. I don't want I'm, you to. I'm listening. 
I did not say that Kiss Daniel number one is 100% right. I am saying as a promoter in diaspora, you understand? When you bring an international artist, especially your artist, it could be from anywhere, as long as that artist is not from that country, if anything happens, because we, we are not human, we are not God, we don't know what's going to happen in the next minute. But what we do, we try not to let, you know, as human beings, because we don't know what's going to happen, we try to avoid certain things. That's what I'm saying. And I'm saying that as a promoter, Nigerian artists, Nigerian artists, all these names you work, with Timaya worked with him. My last show was with Timaya. My last show was with Timaya. In, in, in Malaysia? No, not even in Malaysia. This was 2015. 2015, which, where, where, which, which city? In India. 2015, listen, 2015. Wait, can I, I oh, that, you ask me a question. I'm trying to tell I, you something. I can, I, can, I, can you just listen to me? Okay. Then you get what I'm saying. I'm saying this same Timaya that you're talking about. I, my last show that I did, I stopped being a promoter. You know that I stopped being a promoter, I'm in politics. I was with Timaya. And we went to um, 2015. 2015, I brought, I brought Timaya with Sanko to Europe. After Timaya. I'm, not disputing, okay, I'm not disputing that. I'm okay. not. I'm not saying that my last event mm -hmm. with this same Timaya, if you call him and ask him, I have his diagnosis, I talk to him. Wait, my last event was with him. Which, which city did you host? In Timaya? Asia. This was in Cambodia in 2015. It was a Wait, huge show. Okay. Yeah. It was a huge show in Cambodia, and there was something a lot of things that went wrong. But you see, Timaya being that understands a promoter, he understands this hazard. Call him and ask him. I know what I'm saying. I I'm not talking like a madman. I will still tell you my encounter. Wait, can I finish? Oh, that can I finish? We, we, we fixed it. We make sure we manage that crisis. We manage that crisis, and Timaya left Cambodia peacefully. Okay. Peacefully. What I'm trying to say is. At each point in time, even at that very show, I lost a lot of money. And Timaya, when Timaya came back to Nigeria, he took me in with Chate. I said, bros, no worry, we are in there together anytime. You understand what I'm saying? What I'm saying, there's a relationship between artist and promoter, okay? You as an experienced promoter, you've worked with Polo, and Polo is the man. Polo owns Polo. Not yeah, can, can I do something? Because I'm, not, I'm trying to round up. Polo is the owner of Daniel. He's, yeah. he's Kizanis. He is in Tanzania. What I'm saying that Kizanis did not deliberately leave Nigeria or wherever he is to come to Tanzania just to mess up that guy's show. He didn't do that. It's not crazy. But did you listen to what the guy said? The guy. I heard what the guy said. So L hmm? listen, what the guy said. I am. I, I am also talking. I. I am a promoter. I'm also an artist. I'm a DJ. Hmm. I'm an artist. The guy said. Kiss Daniel landed. Everything was good. But Kiss Daniel said he cannot go on stage because his luggage did not come. He only had okay. a necklace on. Can you listen to that? Listen, you as an artist, you as an artist, a show, your show has been sold out. 3,000 capacity sold out. You have a table for $10,000, $2,500, $5,000. And a promoter is with you begging. I will also give you an, an example. A, a promoter right. is with you begging. Please, please just use this one chain. Come on stage. Now, let me give you an example. I was with Peter P Square three years ago. I brought him. We were in a concert in Norway, Oslo. Mm -hmm. The promoter paid. But the balance, but I, I can bring Peter up on this life. The balance was remaining a few thousand euro. The guy, the promoter came to me. Baba Ike, I don't have this money. I said it's not possible. Peter is not coming on stage. The guy was crying. I went to Peter. I went to his room. I said, P, we have a problem. P said, what, what, what was the problem? I said, um... Um, you know, um, P said, what? He does not want to hear anything. I said, P, the hall is already there. People are in the hall. P said, um, okay, he's coming. I should go out of the room. Five minutes, P called me back. P said, are they ready? I said, yes, they are ready. Now, P said, let's go to the hall. Peter, P Square, did that show. He did that show. 
after after that show i went to the guy i went to the guy i said where is the remaining money the guy said ah you know baba uh, in laws for for the show this is, what i am saying bring peter up on the show he will confirm it now kiss daniel is fully paid he got in the you can you listen to what the guy said the guy said even when kiss daniel came he complained about the room the room is too small he had to change the room to a presidential to a president because i heard you saying technical riders hospitality riders these riders i don't have any problem with that you know if there are some artists that will give you riders and when the, when you don't meet up with the riders if you don't meet up with, with the riders they are going to say no you have if you you even have some some artists if they get to the stage the artist has a right to tell you the mic is not good the sound is not good i am not going to perform good we understand that this guy have to even upgrade, upgrade Kiss Daniel's room. I have worked with Kiss Daniel in Amsterdam. He knows me quite, quite all right. When Kiss Daniel was still with um, this another guy, uh, he came with this girl back then in Amsterdam. If you go on my page, you will see all what I'm saying. So, sir, with all due... No, but did he disappoint you when you worked with him in Amsterdam? Sorry? Did he disappoint you when you worked with him in Amsterdam? No, he did not. Be honest. No, 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 no. I, I, I can't say he did not he did not disappoint. He was still then listen, Kiss Daniel was still with um his former his former Yeah, I know we are talking about yeah. Mm. Kiss Daniel was still with his former boss. He did not disappoint me. Be because you can't you as a promoter in the diaspora, you can't come here and start saying um uh, you know you have to treat the artist like a baby. Listen. Oh God, you mean you are saying this came in a different context. No, We're no, saying no, the same no. thing. Let me tell you, me I worked with Kiss Daniel. Wait, I worked with Kiss Daniel when Kiss Daniel had Woju, when Woju was hot, okay? I he was with Woju. Can I, can I finish, please? What are I, I let, talking about? Yeah, so I brought him to perform for me. Yeah? I had no issue. Yeah, now, that is you, listen. You have You understand no what I'm saying? Listen, so I you have no that, listen, You have no issue. Have Maybe no there's issue. some other, I've right. seen him perform in different countries. He had no issues. Listen, what I'm saying, Oga, no what I'm saying is this. I have no issue with Oga, what I'm saying is this. Mm -hmm. Please do not crucify me on something that we, you and I are part of. What no. I'm saying no, is, no, 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 what no, I'm, no. listen, can I finish? What I'm saying is this. Okay, okay. He then came for the I'm event. Listening. He collected I'm the listening. money. Yeah. He came for the event. He collected the money. Yeah. Right? He came to perform in Tanzania. He flew to come to Tanzania. Yes. To perform in this event. Okay. That means he actually wants to perform, right? Okay. So if something must have happened, what I am saying, you know, when people talk, they talk out of their whatever. They just okay. talk. What I'm saying, as ex, as me and you have experience in this game, yes. you work with Peter. Same thing, some other person worked with Two Face. Two Face came, did the show, they didn't pay his money. Yeah, Two Face so let him. Yeah. Two Face said, you know what, no problem. He did a wonderful show. So every artist has his own. So what I'm oh. saying is that there are hazards, okay? What I'm saying is that there are hazards in this business that we find ourselves in. No, there are hazards. You mentioned a lot of things. You mentioned damage control. You mentioned. You don't say that, like you know, as a, as a promoter. In, in this promoter. Okay, as, a, as a promoter. Yeah, it's not damage control. Okay, no, okay. In, Oga, what I'm saying as a promoter, I'm talking to you in general as a promoter, yes, okay? Yes, okay? As a promoter, mm -hmm. once you have this hazard, and I said to him, with all due respect to yes. the promoter, maybe he just started in you, or maybe he's not, he has not really done, he doesn't know the way of artists and all. He's not only Nigerian artists, even American artists get that same way. I'll be honest with you. You understand? What I'm saying is, it has happened, okay? You cannot turn, hand, you cannot turn back the hands of times. Yeah. It has happened. What do you do at that instant? As what a promoter? I do, listen, what so do you advise you are saying now? What you are telling me now, and every other person that is saying that is talking on this life that doesn't even have the experience of doing this. Should any Nigerian promoter, Nigerian artist come anywhere, you know, perform well, there's a problem, carry police arrest them. Is that what you're saying? You, you, it's, it seems you don't understand. If, so what I'm talking I'm that, about. if I'm in that guy's position, if I'm in that yeah. guy's position. I brought this artist. Everything happened with this. Everything was good. And now I am begging this artist for hours, for hours. Brother, we are Nigerians. Help me. 
come yep. and perform because of this chain. Come and perform. And this artist is saying no, he's not gonna perform. Yep. And he and he messes up my events. Oga, I will arrest the artist. I will have can can I say something? Can I say yeah. anybody? He, See, anybody related to that artist on ground, I will arrest all of them. Me, I will. Listen, all right, all right. We have. I will one. arrest all of them. From her as we officially round off. We have somebody here. Yes, go ahead, my sister. What is your take? <laughs> I'm just. I'm just gonna say my my take is gonna be so brief. Um, I think Kizdania came to the UK. I think it was three months ago. We paid 300 pounds each, and I think we were six, so we paid around like 1,800 pounds. And the ticket was a VIP ticket plus meet with greet with Kiss Daniel. That was the package that yeah. we paid for. Um, so, firstly, when we got there, obviously the event wasn't organized at all because when we got to the VIP lounge, no chair, nothing, and we were complaining that what's going on, and they said, Oh, oh they're so sorry, they have no chair, and you know. We're just com complaining that obviously you guys sold the VIP ticket, so you should know how many people are coming, you know. So you guys should have provided Absolutely. these, um, you know, the chairs, the table for, you know, for the VIP um, um, people that were coming. Eventually, they did um, provide the chairs on the table. Kiss Daniel took ages. We were all waiting for Kiss Daniel. I don't know, he brought some weird artists to come and perform. Eventually, I think it came to the stage like around 11 p.m. to perform. It performed for, let's say, like 15 minutes. His last song was like, Pour Me Water. I think that's, that was his last song. Um, after his performance, I think he was angry because he just poured, you know, few people water. And the way he actually dropped the mic and he left the stage without saying bye or nothing. And everybody was like, what the hell is going on here? Before we knew it, because Daniel was not on the stage anymore. And we're all like, is the show over? What, what's going on? Like, literally, you can tell that he was so pissed off that he didn't even think about how we, the audience, would see the situation, how we would feel. He just dropped the mic and he left. Then after the party, obviously, we paid for you know meet and greet with kids daniel after the show and one of the promoters came to us to say oh unfortunately you will not be able to see kids daniel <laughs> i'm like no that's not possible i called in sick i didn't go to work i paid for a makeup artist i know obviously people would say well that's your choice but you know the <laughs> fact that we all loved kids daniel i love i like chris daniel i like his song and you know so i had to make we had to make so many sacrifices you know, for that event. And the promoter was like, oh, that you, you guys are not going to see Kiss Daniel. So I thank God I had one of my friends that wasn't even having it at all. And we were like, nope, that we're not leaving this event until we see Kiss Daniel because that's what we paid for. That's what you guys promised us. And eventually someone came dance, downstairs to say, oh, Kiss Daniel has left the building. We said, no, that Kiss Daniel hasn't left the building because we saw, we literally saw Kiss Daniel going upstairs. And then, we waited for two hours. Someone came downstairs to tell us that, okay, oh, that Kizdania is going to see you guys, that Kizdania is having a shower. We said, okay, that we're going to wait for Kizdania. <laughs> that no problem, that we're going to wait for him. That whenever I finish having a shower, a shower that we're there. We waited for another three good hours waiting for Kizdania. All together, about six hours. About Definitely, six hours. five and a half hours, yes. Just for All a picture. Together. And Just, you pay 300 yes. pounds. Exactly. So, Whenever we say is Kiss Daniel still having a shower, they will be like, Yes. That I was like, Oh, that's that's so interesting. And then the promoter came downstairs. I think Kiss Daniel called the promoter and we overheard him saying, I don't want to see them. All right, all right. Sorry, my uh, the promoter is here, so mm -hmm. I need to remove you briefly. Jo please don't be angry. I know I don't want to sound like uh great. Uh, up vibes, straight up vibes. I think that is it. Underscore awesome. Okay, so I need to bring the promoter live so we can have uh, this conversation. Thank you very much, Dad. Dad, the phrase you see, Mr. Mustafa, we are all promoters, we are all hustlers. I 
I cannot invest 30,000 to 40,000 euros. If you're a promoter, please accept the invite so we can. I bring... cannot invest 30, 30 to 40,000 right. euros on an artist, and the artist is not going to give me conditions whereby I have met all the conditions. The you have an agreement. Asked... You, have, you have an agreement. So to I speak. have an agreement. I, I yes. have, listen. You, then you see the problem. The, the, the problem with the Nigerian artist is that they are full of ego. If you check on my story, I made a comment on my story this morning as if I knew something like this is going to happen. I said, every young artist or every Nigerian artist, it depends on who is managing you and the vibes you are following. You understand? Because I have seen artists. I have seen artists that, that then, you have paid the artist. And you will beg the artist to post your own flyer. People are not coming to see me. They are, go, they are paying money to see the artist. And you are begging this artist, post the flyer. Comment on the flyer. You tag an artist. The artist will not re, He is not going to repost even the story. Then what are you doing? What are you doing? You understand? See, you see, let's call a spirit. Let's be frank with each other. We are all Nigerians. How do I address you, sir? How do I address you? Um, please, if the promoter is here, I'm we struggling to bring you live. I think you're not following me. Just follow me for the duration of this video, and then you can unfollow me. We need to hear your side. Please, if you were here, up we're here waiting for how do i address you sir i want to sorry, sorry no i'm just dj ike sir okay dj ike dj yeah. ike ike abi abi ice sorry wow dj ice ike 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 okay ike okay dj ike um i want us to get something straight yeah okay and now let's talk like reasonable people that have yeah, been in the game. We are reasonable here. We, we are reasonable. And, the and, other thing... and I, you see, I don't listen to comments, what people say, because they, yeah. they, they've okay. never been, most of the people have never been promoted, so they don't know the hazard. It's like saying being a doctor and doctor is telling you something, I deal with him. So I don't even, I don't listen to their comments. It doesn't do anything. To me. But let me talk to you, Susan, on the life, okay? Uh, number one, I learned to be a promoter for one of the biggest promoting company in the world. I worked with them for two years. Okay, so I was an apprentice. I learned. I became a promoter. I was doing the Western promote. Then before I entered into the African promotion. Okay, right, this man. same experience that this guy just had, I've had it with virtually almost eighty. Uh, let's say, let me not be real. Let me not be over exaggerating. Say sixty percent of the Nigerian artists I worked with. I went two days, DJIs, without having a shower, because an artist. And okay. made me a madman. You know when somebody says a madman? Yeah. You know, I'm in Asia. There's seven hours difference. And the travel time is a day in total. A travel time. So you have to fly from Nigeria, from Lagos to Dubai, Dubai to Malaysia. Dubai to Mal Mal Malaysia, yeah. So uh, why, I want, why I want you to do so, you understand that me and you, we are saying the same thing I, in a different I, context. I, I have been in your area. Okay, so area. so what happened is that so if I, if I'm having if I'm having a show on Saturday, yeah. my artist has to leave Nigeria on Thursday to yeah. be able to reach Malaysia on Friday. Then we can have meet and greet or our welcome party, or whatever you know. I will do it. Then the day for the main show, right? Then the next yeah. day, if, you know, if they want, they stay or they leave. Okay, this is yeah. how we plan it. So imagine those artists. You are doing a whole group. Say like now you are doing made men. The whole made men team. They are coming to perform. And they miss their flights. All right. We have somebody right here with us. Let us hear her as we officially sign off. We've waited and tried to delay for the artist. But unfortunately, we've not been able to, um, to bring him back for one reason or the other. Um, yeah, thank you so much, Sadie Trace. Um, just to contribute to what is going on, to be honest, oh, are we I... your face? We're only seeing your oh, eyes. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, sorry. Um, just want to, I mean, just before um, we go, and then at the same time, 
I don't want to sound a bit too skeptical because I'm one of those people who always go straight to the point and make sure that things are done correctly. And on this note, to be honest, I am not going to support what Kizani did at all. Not at all. But I understand where um, Alaji is coming from in the sense that, and I think I, I, I listened to the part where he was saying that um, baby-wise, I don't think he meant that they should be treating them like a baby. He's just saying these guys are like a baby. So if you're using, it's just a, it's just a qualifying word. And at the same time, I know what he did was completely wrong. But again, in terms of business-wise, in terms of business, because all these artists, they know themselves. You just already get your own standard because you said you're an upcoming. I know there are other ways that he could have gone about it. Again, you, you put your artist in a, uh, as in, in a, is he, is he a pickup or something that I saw on Instagram? It was picked up with that. Again, don't forget, sir, Mr. Ike, you said you work with all these other artists. I am 100% sure you wouldn't have picked up Simaya from the airport with a pickup in Amsterdam for them to take him away that way. But again, I am not supporting, I am not supporting his action in any way, but I'm talking about in terms of business-wise, other artists are seeing okay. these things. How will you be able to convince them? Because they will know that they only fuck up. What is that is fucked up? All of them in general. Word, oh, let's be careful. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. All of them misbehave. They all just do things in a we way are not that they to spend the churches. So you have, because if you've done this, if you've done an upcoming, you should have even worked with someone who is experienced. Learn from them. We in Nigeria sometimes we do some things Ma in a woo -woo God bless way. You, madam. We all want to do money. We all want to make money, Ma but madam. we don't always do this training. There are time of service. There are time of being a servant. Understand the game of the business. I'm a project manager. You have to understand the risk and what's your project, I mean, what's your stakeholders, your external and whatever they need. But at the same time, you have to be cautious of how you go about it. He is doing what is not right. You should call him out. He deserves to be called out. He deserves to be disgraced. But again, your business, your business, because if you then pick him up that way, do you think David O will want to work with you? Do you think okay, um, he might want to work with you? Do you think... Um, this other guy will want to work because again they all behave the same way. For me, they are all the same thing. Okay. But at the same time, would you be able to stand out and call them? My the sister, God if bless you. Madam, I'm not. I'm not saying that Madam, I agree with you. I'm not saying that Kizana is correct. I'm no. not saying that Kizana is not correct. I'm not saying he's wrong. Which my 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 friend DJ yeah, is an that. experienced guy. I'm saying that do not send your artist to trenches. Because this Please, artist, okay, their party is one. Can I, can, I, can I say something? They will finish you. Uh, As a promoter, your team will finish. I, I need to close this live because my battery is um, about... Freeze, to charge on. your battery. Put cable. Put cable for your battery. DJ, I will add you. Um, put cable yeah, for your have phone. Our own life. DJ, I will add you. We have our own life. We will trash this thing, educate it. Because what I'm saying... Mr. Mustafa, I'm saying, I want please, to know you. You oh, have worked no, as an no, OAP. No, you have worked to all these artists. You have worked to this all these artists as the radio guy. But I'm telling you, no Nigerian promoter, no Nigerian promoter that has suffered what I have suffered in this game. You know why? But I respect my Nigerian artists. They have, I respect my Nigerian artists. King Daniel, I stand with him. No matter what has happened, I stand with King Daniel. I, I don't agree that you should arrest him. I don't agree that you should treat him. The way they treat him, you are not a promoter. You are not a promoter. You are not a promoter. I will not agree. You there are not anybody can tell me. You I work to them. I love all Nigerian artists. I can. You got to support. They can't lock your boy. Your Nigerian city is not country now. Why? Today's live. Thank you all. Why? Because of what? I'm not. You didn't trust that I lost money. Boy can do that to me. They can't lock my boy. My boy can't. 